Hi there. Last class, we discussed about converting a decimal number system towards other number system which were binary, hexadecimal and octal number system. In this class, we are going to try to solve how can we convert a binary number system back towards decimal number system, similarly hexadecimal, octal to the decimal number system. So, we will start by converting a binary number system to its equivalent decimal number system. So, as usual, we have only three procedures, two, three steps to do it. What we are going to do is multiply each bit by 2 power n, where n is the weight of the bit. What do you mean by weight of the bit? The position of the bit. Say, for example, if you have three bits like this, the weight is position of the bit. So, this is the weight. So, if you say I put this as data 0, data 1, and data 2, the weight of the bit 0 is 0, the weight of the bit uh, this one is 1, the weight of the bit this d2 is 2, it goes on like that. Right? What we are going to do is we are going to add every uh, particular uh, bits by multiplying 2 power n. Uh, so, we will uh, understand with an example. So, now we will have a uh, data, this is your binary data, we are going to convert that to decimal and this is the result we will be getting it. Right? So, let us see how this could be achieved. So, I am going to rewrite it, rewrite the question again, which is 101011, right, 101011. So, as usual, uh, you know, this is the weight of the bit, this is D0, okay, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. So, th I have meant it as uh, uh, data, you can put it as weight also, weight 0, weight 1, weight 2, so whatever it is, uh, it is up to you. So, now I am going to take the first bit and multiply with 2 power n which is the weight of the bit. Here n weight is 0, right. Next I am going to take this one and multiply with 2 power weight of the bit is 1, right. I am going to multiply with 1. So, again I am going to take this 0 and then multiply it with weight of the bit is 2. Again I am going to take this 1. So, 1 into 2 power 3. So, again 0, 0 into 2 power 4. Again this 1, 1 into 2 power 5. So, we will see the result. So, anything to the power uh, 0 is 1, we will get 1. 2 power 1 is 2, multiplied by 1 is 2. So, anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So, what we get here, it is 2 power uh, 3, so 2 power 3 is 8, here anything multiplied by 0 and uh, 2 power 5, right, what is 2 power 5, it is 32, so now add everything, add all this together, so 32, 40, 42, 43, you got the result, got it, 43 is the result, this is in decimal. Simple, right? So, what you are going to do? All you are going to do is you are going to multiply with the radix. So, since you are doing it in binary, it is 2. Similarly, if you do it in octal, the same procedure, instead of 2, what you are going to do? You are going to multiply with 8. Let us take this particular example, where we are going to convert 2, 3, 4, 7, which is an octal number, to its equivalent decimal number. So, as usual, I am going to take the bit. Uh, the last uh, bit with and I am going to multiply with radix power 0, right. I am going to take 4 multiplied by 8 power 1, 3 into multiplied by 8 power 2, 2 into multiplied by 8 power 3, 2, 3, 4, 7. So, 8 power 0 is 1, so 1 into 7, you get 7. So, 8 power 1 is 8, 8 4 is 32. 8 power 2 is 64, 64 into 3 is 192, then we have 8 power 3 that is 512, 512 into 2 is 1024, now let us try to add this, so 1024 plus 192 plus 32 plus 7, we have 1, 2, double 5. Got it? You got the same 
answer so this if you represented it within bracket to the base 10 it can be converted as a decimal number system so now if you should consider the hexadecimal decimal number system the same pattern so all you have to do is you have to multiply with 16 raised to the power n so now let us see with an example you will understand it much more better so the same process now for an example i have considered eac2 for understanding purpose you have to know what is e uh, e is 14 a is 10 in decimal uh, c is 12 in uh, you have a 12 in uh, decimal right so now we'll do what 2 into 16 power 0 c into 16 power 1 a into 16 power 2 e into 16 power 3 so 16 power 0 is 1 you will get 2 so 16 into c you get uh, 192 uh, 16 square into a you will get uh, 2560 uh, 16 into e it is um, uh, 47,344. So now, if you add all this, you will get 8, you will get uh, 10, 19, you will get uh, 10, and uh, you will get again a 10 and a 6. Got it? You got the answer? Same. So, only thing you have to remember is. If you are going to convert any number system towards equivalent decimal number system, you are going to multiply with the radix to the weight of the deck, starting from your rightmost. This is what uh, conversion between other number system to the decimal number system.